Here is the Notion automation you didn't know you needed. Imagine never losing a single content idea again, no matter where you are or what you're doing. Like many of you, I found myself trapped in the constant content creation hamster wheel. Creating consistent content is vital for our businesses, yet it can be overwhelming coming up and brainstorming fresh ideas. But I discovered a better way, a method to easily capture and organize every single one of your ideas. And today, I'm going to reveal a system. In just a few weeks, it saved me countless hours. Now, I'm excited to share this time-saving solution with you for free. Stay with me till the end of this video and I promise the time you invest here will pay back a hundredfold if you decide to make use of it. So, how does the system work? Let me show you. Whether I'm walking in the park, reading a book or visiting a friend, whenever a content idea strikes, I simply record a voice note to capture it. Within seconds, this voice note is not just saved, but transformed. It appears in Notion like magic. But the magic doesn't stop here. It's automatically titled, summarized and categorized easy to find and ready to develop whenever you need them. And the best part, all of this is built using no-code tools, so you don't need to be a tech wizard in order to make this work for you. I fine-tuned this process and I'm sharing the exact templates I use. These are the keys to turn your ideas into organized assets. So let's dive in and reveal how you can use the system yourself. Okay, I want to make this as easy as possible so that everyone of you can understand and actually implement this, right? So how will this go down? I truly, I, I highly recommend watching the whole thing at a 1.5, maybe, maybe even 2x speed. And somewhere by the end of it, I'm going to reveal the templates for you, right? For free. Then you should go ahead and get the template, implement it yourself, and either work along the video or just I would say you probably are able to do it after watching the video by yourself, okay? So it's not hard, even if you have no experience whatsoever, okay? So this is the mindset, right? You, you need to understand that it's, it's easy to do this. It's, not, it's really not hard. Okay, so first step, we need shortcuts, right? So what are shortcuts? Shortcuts are these. It's this little piece of software on your iPhone and your Mac that helps you to automate useful stuff, right? So what you want to do is you want to search for your shortcuts either on your phone or your Mac, right? This is how it looks like. And now you can go ahead and view it as a list or whatever, but you can go ahead, click the plus sign and create a new automation. You can title it here, blah, blah, blah. But you are obviously going to use my template, so don't worry about that, okay? So this is the exact template you are going to get. And you don't have to do much in here, but I'm going to show you exactly step-by-step step what you have to do. Okay, so before we begin though, let's try to understand what this is actually doing. So the shortcut, if we look at it from a user journey perspective, right? It's the only step, it's the only touch point we actually have with the automation, right? So we get our phone, we tap the shortcut, and we start speaking to it, right? That's it. Then everything else is handled automatically. That's the magic behind it, okay? So, as I said, first thing is, well, we tap it, then we're going to record an audio. That's what's happening here, okay? Then, as soon as we're done with the audio, we are going, going to be shown a list. And I've created those categories just to make it easier for me and for you to trigger additional automations, if you wish, right? All of those have the same automations currently, except for the content idea one. The content idea one has an additional ChatGPT prompt behind it that will help you to expand on your ideas, right? So if you have a content idea, it's going to suggest maybe quotes, relevant quotes, or some interesting perspectives on um, from from experts um, ChatGPT will find online or maybe it's just going to suggest more content types to promote your content with okay so then you choose from the list and this is the first thing you have to change right so this is the OpenAI API key you will need 
to put in here. Okay, so you delete that, you put your own API key in here, that's it, right? Then what happens is it takes the API key, sends the audio file to Whisper, OpenAI's Whisper, which is a transcription artificial intelligence, right? That will simply transcribe your audio note. Then what I like to do is I like to get the current location just because if I have an idea for something, I like to associate that idea with a location. It's easier for me to memorize things, okay? You don't have to do it, obviously. And then we are sending all of that information to make using a hook. And this is the second step you have to change, right? So you simply take that, delete it, and put your own webhook in there. I'm going to explain to you what, what the webhook is and how to get the API key, okay? So... Let's get the API key. So what you want to do is if you haven't done it yet, you want to create an account on OpenAI. You need to put in your credit card details. Every time you want ChatGPT to do something through the API, it's gonna cost you money, right? But it's not a lot, I can tell you, okay? So just try it out. Maybe you can, you can even just put in five bucks and see how far you get. You're probably going to get far, okay? You go to your account and click on API keys. Then you create a new secret API key. This is my key, right? Then you copy that key and then you open your shortcut again and put it in here. That's it. Okay, simple. So obviously do not copy my open AI key. I'm going to delete it after recording this video. So there's no point in using mine. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to make and create your own account. This is my favorite, by far my favorite automation tool. It's great, it's very similar to Zapier, but I think it's Zapier on steroids. So once you get used to using Make, it's unbelievable powerful, okay? So I'm on the Teams tier, but you can start with a free account. You get a thousand operations per month, which is plenty for our use case. So yeah, just go ahead and create your free account, okay? Once you're logged in, you are going to see something similar to this. And you can go ahead and click on create a new scenario on the top right corner. And then what you want to do from here is you want to get my template, obviously, by the end of this video. Okay. And then just import the blueprint from your files. Okay. As soon as you got that, you are going to see something similar to this. And you don't have to do much in here, but you can just for you to understand how this works, right? So. It starts from left and goes to right. So the data will come in here and you can actually click on explain flow so you can see the flow of it, right? It takes the data, it goes through the modules and then it decides where to go, okay? And I've got two branches because mentioned earlier, we've got different categories, right? And depending on the categories, you can actually create four branches and for each one have a different use case. I simply did two for now to not make it too complicated for you guys, but that's what you can do with it, okay? So what we have here is a webhook. Webhook basically just expects data, right? And if you click on it, you need to add a new webhook and name it and then save it. And then it's gonna look something like that. It's waiting for data to come in and you can copy that address by clicking here or maybe copying the URL. And then what you want to do is open your shortcut and put in the hook right there. Okay. Once you have that, I recommend you to simply start the automation one time, just run it top right corner, the play sign. And once you did that, it will say it successfully determined the data structure. Okay. So if you have that, you're done here, you can click on okay. Now, there's not much left to do, okay? What you want to do is you want to open that um, GPT module right here. And what you need to do is click on add a new connection. You enter your API key and also your organization ID. And your organization ID is hidden. Your organization ID is hidden under settings, right? So you can simply open that link right here. Okay, once you're done here, you can see I've um, already prepared a prompt for you. So you don't have to do it. You simply click on OK. And now you go through and connect all of the modules with the same connection. Next, 
what you want to do is you want to open all the Notion modules, click on add, add a public connection, name it however you want. If you click on save, it's gonna redirect you to allow Make to connect with Notion. You say yes, obviously. Then you save that and you are going to be able to connect with Notion, okay? From there, you basically what you need to do is first you need to go to your Notion and I would recommend to use my template for it because then you don't have so much work and it's already a great template to use. I sent you the link, right? And you can simply duplicate it into your own Notion. It's gonna be a button on the top right corner, I think. And if you've duplicated it, you can click the three dots right here. And then you see the connections. Simply go to add connection and you should see your make connection somewhere there and you click it, right? Only then it's going to be available on Make. So, but if you if you need help with that, I mean, just go ahead and Google Connect Make to Notion. It's fairly easy. Um, there are plenty of videos about it. Um, let's move on. Okay. Once you've done that, you're simply gonna search for the for the database Daily Notes YouTube. That one Daily Notes. Okay. You click it, and now you're connected. Right. You click on OK. That's it. And you do the connection with all the with all the modules in here, right? You open each and every one and just connect it. And then you're done. But wait, let's first understand what's what's happening here. So the first module is going to create a summary out of your note. The second is gonna create the title, obviously. Then it's going to see if the type of the note you selected is going to be a content idea. If yes, it's going down that path and it's going to have this additional prompt behind it to generate some more insights, okay? If it's not a content idea, it's gonna go up that path and it's just simply going to insert the summary title category into Notion with the transcript, okay? We're done right here. So let's test it, all right. So let's see if this actually been working. I'm gonna open my shortcuts and it's right here. And let's have a look again. It's the exact same thing we've been editing on the desktop. And by the way, if you click on the top here on the name, you can add this to your home screen, which comes in really handy. Um, you can even give it a new icon if you want, right? Beautiful. And add it to your home screen, right? Now, if I tap it, it's gonna open and it's waiting for me to tap again. Now, this is a content idea I had recently. I should make content about creating voice notes to automatically organize your content ideas within Notion using Make, the automation platform. So let's choose the type content idea. Now it's getting the location, it's sending it to Make. Now let's see if this actually worked. I'm gonna open my Notion and I'm gonna look for my database, which is Daily Notes YouTube. And there we go. Unleash your creativity, voice notes, and Notion's automation. Content idea, creating voice notes for organizing content ideas with Notion using automation platform. That's a summary, the type. We've got the original note, right? It's waiting. It's, uh, this is a content idea. I should make content about blah, blah, blah. It got my location and it got expansion ideas. So let's check if these expansion ideas are actually any good. Share a step-by-step -step guide on how to use voice notes to generate content ideas and organize them in Notion using Make. Well, that's exactly what we're doing right here. Discuss the benefits of using voice notes for content creation and how it can enhance your productivity and creativity. I mean, these suggestions are actually really valuable and I frequently use them. So it even got relevant quotes, right? So Seth Godin, who's a marketing genius. Instead of wondering when your next vacation is, maybe you should set up a life you don't need to escape from. Well, I'm not sure if that fits Austin Kleon. The more you start thinking about what you can do to improve, the more likely you are to take action. Yeah, I, I kind of like that because it takes into consideration that we're actually trying to improve our processes, right? So that's, that's a fit. And yeah, that's the whole thing. I mean, I've been using this so much I really, it's hard for me to explain how valuable this thing has gotten for me. So now, if you want to get all the templates provided, all you have to do is 
click the link in the description and it's going to send you to this landing page and here you simply insert your email address and get the full system including all the templates free of charge okay so click the link in the description get the bonus if you're quick and automate your content ideas